Hello everyone, this is Manu Bhermi. I'm an Applications Engineer at Plexim. Welcome to the Plex Model of the Month video series. In this month's video, I will discuss a two-phase interleaved power factor correction converter or PFC converter built based on a PFC development board from Texas Instruments. Our next model of the month video could feature your model. If you have a Plex model you're willing to share, send it to info at plexim.com with a description of the power stage and controller. If your model gets picked, we will make a video of it and post it to our LinkedIn and YouTube pages while publicly crediting your work. The main goal of this video is to demonstrate the workflow using Plex and the RT box. Let's first discuss the whole setup. We have three different scenarios. In the first scenario, we have the Plex model where both the plant or the power stage and the control stage are built on Plex. In the second scenario, we have the entire hardware setup from TI. The plant stage is a two-phase interleaved boost PFC board with a load of 300 ohms and the control stage is a TI 28035 Piccolo control card. In the third scenario, we have a hardware in the loop system where the plant is running on the RT box and the controller is the same as in the previous scenario which is the TI28035 Piccolo control card. Let's focus on the Plex model for a bit. On the right, we have the PFC plant subsystem. The PFC stage consists of two interleaved boost converters, each operating, in this case, at 200 kHz and are phase shifted by 180 degrees. The output capacitor here provides regulated DC voltage to the PFC load of 300 ohms. The control approach here mimics the control developed by TI for the hardware PFC development board. It uses four feedback signals, the line and the neutral voltages, the PFC input current and the DC output voltage. These are sensed and fed back to the MCU. The voltage compensator, which in this case is a simple PI controller, regulates the DC bus voltage by comparing the sensed DC output signal against a reference. The output of the voltage loop is proportional to the amount of power transferred by the PFC converter. This output is then multiplied by the inverse of the square of the RMS input voltage to enable fast feed forward control and the rectified input voltage to modulate the voltage controller output such that the PFC input current and the PFC input voltage have the same shape. The resulting product is compared against the sensed PFC rectified input current. This error is the input to the current control loop which in this case has been built analytically based on the plant transfer function. The current controller generates the PFC duty ratio command such that the PFC input current tracks the reference current. The parameters used to build this model are obtained from the TI Power Suite library, which we will look at later. The input is 120 volts RMS at 60 Hz and the output is 350 volts DC. Let's run the simulation and look at the steady state waveforms. The switching signals are phase shifted by 180 degrees or half the switching period, which in this case is 2.5 microseconds. The output and the input waveforms can be monitored using the Plex scope. At steady state, the output voltage is close to a reference voltage of 350 volts with some ripple. The output current is about 1.1 amperes and the output power is about 400 watts. The total harmonic distortion or THD of the input current can be measured using the cursor's button. We are interested in a delta value of 1 over 60, which is the fundamental frequency in this case. The THD is 9.7% and the power factor is well above 0.99. Now let's run the TIPFC development kit and compare the results. The load here is a 300 ohm resistor rated at 1000 watts. The board has a slot to plug in the 28035 control card. The control code for the PFC model can be downloaded from the TI Power Suite library and it can be tuned to run in either open loop or closed current loop 
or closed current and voltage loops. The parameters of the PFC hardware module, which we used in the Plex model that I showed earlier, are listed here. Let's build the project for closed current loop for AC input and choose the default current compensator at a default switching frequency of 200 kHz and debug the 28035 control card. The output voltage is about 350 volts and the output current is about 1 ampere. The input voltage is 120 volts RMS and the input current is 3.2 amperes. These waveforms are a close match compared with the waveforms obtained from the Plex model run using the closed current loop only as well as the closed current and voltage loops. The small difference in current is due to the signal conditioning parasitics on the hardware board which can be modeled if wanted. Instead of creating a prototype of the hardware, the controller can be tested in real time by performing a hardware in the loop simulation on the RT box. The same 28035 control card is plugged into the RT box by means of a control card interface board. The Plex model developed for the offline simulation can be easily transferred onto the RT box by adding the necessary RT box peripherals. The switching frequency of interest is 50 kHz and the inductor value has been increased accordingly. PWM capture blocks receive signals from the control card and the analog out blocks send signals to the control card. The analog signals have been scaled as per the PFC board. Let's build the Plex model on the RT box. The model is running in real time on the RT box at a sample rate of 2 microseconds. The MCU control board built for the PFC hardware development board can be used as is for the hardware in the loop simulation. Let's program the MCU for closed loop current and voltage control. The controller is now receiving real-time feedback as can be seen in the Code Composer Studio watch window. The real-time waveforms can be viewed and analyzed on the Plex scope using external mode. The real-time output voltage and currents are at 350 volts and 1.1 amperes. The THT of the real-time input current is around 13% and the power factor is about 0.99. The huge advantage of the RT box is that it can be used to conveniently test and validate a controller in real time without having to build the hardware prototype. I hope you enjoyed this video on two phase interleaved PFC modeled on Plex and the RT box. Please submit your Plex models to info at plexim.com for a chance to have your model displayed. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.